And recapping the events in Ferguson, on August 9th, Brown and a friend are confronted by an officer as they walk back to Brown's home from a convenience store. Following an argument with the officer, Brown is shot and killed. After a candlelight vigil on August 10th, protesters denouncing the death clash with police. On August 11th, two men tell investigators that Brown had his hands raised when the officer approached with his weapon drawn and fired repeatedly. That night, police in riot gear fire tear gas and rubber bullets in an attempt to disperse a crowd. Protests with and scuffles with police continue for several days. On August 14th, the head of the Missouri Highway Patrol takes control of security in Ferguson. The next day, Ferguson police identify the officer who shot Brown as 28-year-old Darren Wilson, a six-year veteran of the force. Missouri Governor Jay Nixon, Jay Nixon declares a state of emergency and imposes a curfew in Ferguson on August 16th. People in Ferguson defied the curfew, leading to seven arrests and one person shot. And just today, results of the autopsy ordered by Brown's family confirm the young man was shot six times, including twice in the head.